What's up, everybody? This is Zach from Sport of Fork. You can find me on Instagram at Sport of Fork. Same thing on Facebook and pretty soon YouTube as well. So uh, I am here today to introduce you to someone. This is the Mella. The Mella is an indoor grow chamber for mushrooms. This is the first professional, beautiful, affordable indoor growing chamber. It's easy to clean. It has lights, humidity control, all on Wi-Fi. We're gonna unbox this baby to see how she looks. The Mella is by a company called First Build uh, out of Kentucky. Wicked cool, check it out. Beautiful. That, my friends, is the Mella. Comes fully assembled for the most part. Really just opened it up for the first time. Very light, stainless steel. Let's get our packing material out of here. Little use and care guide from first build. Yeah, thanks guys. Maker, love it. So this baby was co-created um, and we are in the process of continuing to co-create it. This is not out to the market yet. We're one of 10 uh, lucky folks to be testing out the Mella right now. We feel very fortunate here at Sport of Fork to be uh, one of the beta testers for sure. So let's keep unboxing. Let's see here. This is our control. All right, set that off to the side. Power supply. Yeah, power supply. This sits off to the side of the Mella. We're gonna fill it with water and it will provide humidity for the grow chamber. Um, it is removable from the outside, so whenever you need to fill it up, you do not need to open the grow chamber. You're not gonna lose any temperature or humidity when you do so. Seems like a really cool, really smart design. We're gonna clean this baby up and get her going. Whoosh. Forgot my head. We're gonna clean this baby up and get her going. I am going to use a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to keep things clean and sterile. We're gonna hit it with that and then wipe it down with a little paper towel. This is a beautiful design, it really is. That just slides right through a little hole there in the bottom. And this is our humidity filter. We're gonna remove the fan real quick. There we are. And put the fan back on. The water tank is pretty easy. Um, all we're really doing to fill it up is just unscrew, put water inside, and then pop it into the bottom piece there. So, excuse me for a moment, I'll be back with some water. Okay, we've got a full water tank. So we can flip this baby over. You're not gonna lose any water out of there. Um, when you set it down, it does plunge in with a little spring here to release the water into the tank at the bottom where the fan will pull it in through the humidity filter. All right, next step. Next thing we're gonna do here is, it should be fairly easy. Uh, we're just gonna hold, uh, we're just gonna connect uh, our wires. A couple extra ports here for extra output and extra sensor as well if you'd like. We have a Wi-Fi button up top and our Wi-Fi status uh, light here as well. All right, let's get her plugged in. What's that, Dad? <laughs> what do you get when a giant steps on a house? I don't know what. Mushrooms, bloody. <sighs> what is a mushroom that doesn't have anything nice to say? I don't know. A shiitake mushroom. <laughs> All right, so this is actually pretty cool. This is a super long cord that they have here. There's two parts to it here, so we'll get this part plugged into the, uh, the back of the unit. This part of the cord will plug into this, and then we'll plug it into the wall.
All right, as soon as we plugged it in, the fan started working. So it's gonna start to pull some of that humidity into the chamber. Oh, she is fired up and she looks awesome. Oh my God, look at that. Beautiful. Wow. The Mella baby. Look at that. <laughs> Once it's plugged in, it just gets going with the humidity and with lights and uh, it just, it does its thing. We are gonna get our spawn bags in here right now. Um, everybody knows I have a little bit of a thing for North Spore mushrooms and so does first build. <laughs> Smart people. So uh, that first bag there, those are, that's blue oyster mushroom spawn. And uh, this here is our golden oyster mushroom kit, um, which we'll open up and take the spawn bag out as well. So we've got our spawn bags in here. Um, we are gonna cut an X in the side of the bag and an X in the side of the other bag. You can fit up to four of these types of blocks in here, which is really cool. We're just gonna start with two though. And I can already feel the humidity coming out over here. This fan is pulling uh, pulling moisture from our external tank here again, straight through and up through our humidity filter and into the unit. We have some beautiful lights here. Uh, mushrooms are, uh, they're not plants, obviously. If there's no light, they don't know which direction to grow in. <laughs> so they, they're, they're not photosynthetic uh, per se, they are phototropic, which means they grow toward light. Is she beautiful or what? Again, there's only 10 units like this uh, kind of floating around the US right now. Um, like I said, we're all gonna be providing feedback to these folks so that they can improve and make the next version even better. So if you do order a melon, um, through any of my links or emails or anything like that, um, I do get a little bit of a cut of that. Uh, just so you're aware. Thank you. We are super fortunate here at Sport of Fork uh, to be a part of this beta test. Thank you, First Build. You guys are amazing. Uh, you know, when we saw what you guys were doing, uh, we were just uh, just over the moon. You know, Sport of Fork is just a small. I mean, I'm an enthusiast. I, I love to forage. Um, I've been getting into cultivation like crazy over this past year. And, uh, you know, my wife and I have two beautiful little girls that uh, love to get out there with us into the woods, um, love to cook, love to eat mushrooms. You'll meet Allie pretty soon. Allie is uh, the self-proclaimed mushroom girl. She's four. She will, like, eat pretty much anything <laughs> if it has garlic and cream sauce on it, of course. We'll be tracking some progress here over the next couple weeks to see, uh, to see how the Mella does. Um, we will, of course, let you know. And we're gonna get our information over to First Build as well so that they can help make the next model for you even better. Stay tuned. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.